Okay, we've got all our um, completed designs here, so we're going to start building the world's first cardboard houseboat. It looks pretty straightforward, so now we've just got to cut it out of cardboard and stick it together and then go sailing. We've worked out exactly how big it's going to be, where we're going to put the beds. Um, we've got all the ribs here. Uh, this is the kind of box construction. The whole boat's made out of all these ribs, which form the shape of the hull. It's hopefully going to be very strong, um, even if it's made out of cardboard. We've got 10 days until this is going in the water. So, um, we've got to get cracking. To cut the ribs, which form the, the basic structure, we're using a template. So we're cutting that same rib structure out of uh, MDF wood. And then we're using a router to repeatedly cut that same pattern out of the sheets of cardboard. Yeah, that's great. It's an incredibly messy job, uh, but it's getting there. I think we've got to cut something like 100 ribs to layer them up and make them strong. Sam, huh? So we realised we haven't got quite enough cardboard and we're going to go and see our friend Matt who's collected up some big sheets. <laughs> Design's kind of coming together now. We know what we're doing, we've got our cutting list. Oh, there's the rib. Oh, it looks nice, doesn't it? I'm trying to create some little bit of order. What have we got where? We have large, medium, small rubbish. And I think like the rubbish we may as well just take back to the bins. We're uh, just waterproofing the ribs before we put the whole thing together. So here we are delicately filling in PVA. Mm. I think it's going to float, but I'm not sure for how long. We're about to start slotting everything together, so um, the exciting bit's about to start. Taking shape. Look at it. Looks really great. We're running out of long ones, so we want to get these ones here. Yeah, yeah. Get this down. Uh, this is the first bit of floor going in, so there's a lot of gluing and drying, but we're getting there. Uh, well, we're just trying to put the hull on, man. Just trying to put the hull on, man. Just leave us alone, <laughs> yeah? What's your problem? Oh, it's going well, Harry. You enjoying cardboard? Cardboard is such a good medium to work in. What do you like about cardboard? Really? It's flexible, you can move it around, pliable. And we're recycling as well. What are you doing now? I'm uh, gluing in a support for one of the ribs to uh, make sure we can take a bit of pressure on the bow. Is it looking sturdy? Quietly confident. 
This is the sixth day of making. We're slightly behind now, um, but fortunately some friends of ours have turned up to help. But it's totally looking like a boat now. Why have you come to help us, Sati? Because you needed it. Great. It's a proper cardboard boat. It's coming together. It looks pretty sporty. Oh, look, that looks great. Totally solid now, yeah. It's finally starting to look like an actual boat now, so um, it's kind of it's spurring us on. It could sink or it could float, we don't know. It's 50 50, really. It's 50 50. Could sink or it could float. Come and Charlie, why don't you come and do some talking? This is a test piece. This is a, a kind of epoxy resin test just to see what happens if we coat the outside of the cardboard in epoxy resin. And actually, it's pretty good. It sort of goes into the uh, cardboard. Let's go for a two shot. Do you think it's going to sink, Charlie? I think it's going to sink. Yeah. It might sink, but it might just float. In primary schools, they use a lot of PVA glue, so we thought a lot better material to waterproof the uh, hull of the cardboard boat. So hopefully this will just give us a few more seconds in the water. Eddie's corking the boat down there, sticking in the filler to stop the water coming in the cracks. Charlie's fixing the all-important Henry the Hoover panel down there. Quietly just losing the will to live. <laughs> the corner. We've still got the um, age-old conundrum of will it fit out the door? Mm. That door. Mm. This boat. We're just hoping that it fits. If not, um, we're just going to have to rip a hole in the wall. So this is the epoxy resin coat. It's the glossiest thing I've ever seen. It's actually as I hoped. Looks slick. All in all, boat building is an expensive business. <laughs> I think with the big push today, if we get that cabin done, we're on schedule. Yeah. We've only got Tuesday, Wednesday. Buckets, my paintbrush. This is your classic PVA glue. We put this in here, and we go to the counter, and we pay hundreds of pounds. These are the walls of the cabin, and we're laminating together three sheets so that they're a bit more sturdy. Once they're put together, we're gonna to cut the portholes, add all the uh, refinements you'd expect to find on um, an executive yacht. The toilet, uh, mini bar, it's basically a one long monotonous task, <laughs> or a series of monotonous tasks. But so that's what we're good at. Stubborn. Yeah, stubborn. <laughs> Charlie's very stubborn. I'm not. <laughs> Here's the cabin. Here's our portholes. It's the walls. BBC Surrey. Travel you trust. Harry Dwyer, who will show us how we can actually live in a cardboard houseboat. That sounds a bit like a chocolate teapot to me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, hang on. Doesn't cardboard like all break up when it gets wet, Harry? Uh, now, you're right. It does. If you get it wet, it does. So um, we haven't changed the properties of cardboard, but we're hoping with enough waterproofing, it will be fine. It'll, it'll float perfectly. Oh, yeah, that could be hope. <laughs> There's a lot of hope involved. Yeah. Yeah. Feels big inside. So, Harry, just tell me, do you live in a really ordinary house yourself? Do you go home um, to something really dull? I do. I have to say, I've always wanted a houseboat, but Charlie and I built it together, and we both 
always wanted a houseboat and uh, so when we had the idea we thought we just got to do it and now we've got our own houseboat we're just not quite sure how long it's going to last let's hope it doesn't rain as well otherwise you're going to be attacked by the elements <laughs> of both know. ends <laughs> it's got a roof it does have a roof uh, and we put a slight pitch on the roof because we could see rain coming on the weather forecast. So we're going to be fine. Excellent. As long as the wind doesn't get up. Great talking to you. Harry Dwyer there, uh, the cardboard houseboat. OK, so patch the hole, yep. attach straps, varnish everywhere, box inside, which also includes building the beds, the kitchen. Was it 36 hours? Without sleeping. <laughs> oh, God, Eddie. Well, let's prioritise. I'm sick of cutting bloody cardboard. This is supposed to be the fun bit at the end. We've made the pitch roof. We're starting to work on the seats, the kitchen, the beds. There's a long list of things to do, but um, it's coming together. We've got two days to go. Less than two days to go. Yeah, we were hoping for really glorious weather for the launch, but it looks like it's gonna be raining now. So we're increasing the waterproofing uh, above the waterline, just whacking on a load of varnish. You know, maybe it'll be good to have um, adverse conditions to really prove the uh, seaworthiness of the boat. Oh, the weather bodes well. Hello. Hi. Hello. Hi. Putting on the varnish. We're very nearly there, the boat's nearly finished, but um, we're really feeling the pressure because tomorrow we've got to have it finished so that the telly can come and have a look at it with presenter Kevin McLeod. Yeah, spent the night in it last night to test it out. Very cosy. We're just doing our finishing touches. Just last bit of glue gunning, last bit of siliconing. This afternoon, this is gonna be going in the water. Outboard's on, got the life jackets up here, kitchen's in. Now, if you think all the materials you could use to make a boat, cardboard probably wouldn't be near the top of your list. But that didn't put off Harry Dwyer and Charlie Waller. They decided to knock together a houseboat made entirely from cardboard, which was thrown away by businesses in Stratford. And it set sail today. We sent Martin Stewart along for the ride. It's taken 10 days, roomfuls of recycled boxes and gallons of glue. Today, Harry Dwyer and Charlie Waller's dream to build a cardboard houseboat became a reality. So here she is, our pride and joy. Absolutely everything is cardboard, isn't it? It's, yeah, it's 100% cardboard, about 300 boxes. The project has taken months to plan and required some serious engineering. So there's hundreds of laminated cardboard ribs. Uh, you can see this this tabletop's an offcut from one of the ribs. So it's like five sheets of cardboard that we've glued together. Spent 150 pounds on PVA glue. Up it goes. <laughs> which, which is terrible. Isn't waterproof. Yeah, which yeah, which we we learnt later is, is, is water soluble. With the exception of that glue, every element has been recycled. Put a, a normal outboard on the back, just a small one. This is our removable window so that when we're driving we can see where we're going. Flag here on the back, made from bubble wrap. Uh, we've got a cup holder as well. Um, made from a cup holder. Inside, the boat is also a home. Well, Charlie slept in it yesterday. He's got two bunks, one on this side, one on this side. And um, was it comfortable, Charlie? It was very comfortable, yeah. We've got a little uh, television there. There's also a wine rack and uh, even a chin. card table, Both. made, of course, yeah, of card. It's a stupid idea, though, isn't it? Because, <laughs> because cardboard, when it gets wet, gets soggy, 
and it sinks. That's my understanding. Yeah. How are you going to make a boat out of that? Well, we, we hope that we put enough varnish on that it's just somehow going to float. We're just optimistic. This afternoon, that optimism was put to the test. This is totally happening. This way up, as she's named, was craned slowly into the Thames. Right now, it looks like it's going to float, but it might just go in and go straight down. Surely it's up there with chocolate teapots for a ridiculous idea, isn't it? You say that. The thing is that actually boats are made of the most unlikely materials. I mean, steel, for example, which rusts in water. No fear of rust for the boys, just a hope that this way up lives up to her name. Bit of a soggy bottom. Nitty. So what's that? Oh, oh. So we're just heat gunning the uh, underside. Here's our new panel. No one will ever know. They're going to use her as a Success. Oh, sorry. We shedded a little bit of um, the hull along the way. So we did it, Charlie. Well, there we are, Mrs. Dwyer. Very well done. Very well done. See you on the channel crossing. Yeah, absolutely. A little bit of this to put back on the boat. It'll be quite satisfying just to see it crushed. <laughs> <laughs> so we can just put it an end cool to it. it. 